I know that psychology subjects is trending right now psychology course is very trending and many people are interested to study this psychology but one thing that you guys must bear in mind is ask yourself why you want to study psychology is it just about trend or me or you are really interested to study this course because So welcome back to my channel. This is the video about how to uh, about study in psychology part 3. So in this video I will tell you in more specific about what course, what subjects that I learned in my degree psych degree of psychology. So this means that after you have finished your SPM, you have been finished your matriculation, SCPM, STAM or etc. So yeah, if you have succeeded to to study psychology, congratulations. I will congratulate you first. So I will refer to my buku panduan. So this is based on this is based on my university, Unimas, and I believe that every institution have their own have their own course. Psychology students basically will study the same thing, the same subjects. It's just that maybe I will study this in semester one, and you, for example, if you are psychology student in UKM, maybe you will study this subject in semester two. But still, in general, to conclude, we always study the same thing the same knowledge of psychology besides the psychology subjects you will also need to study some compulsory subjects the general subjects university subjects for example the entrepreneurship english malay and also titas you will know it later and also about you will also need to take a curriculum so for psychology students basically in semester one you will study about physiology psychology this is where the biology subject the basic biology you will need a basic biology knowledge such as about the let me think wait i will show you the book hi okay i'm back so this is the book that i use during my semester one biological psychology so this is basically the same as physiology psychology and yeah i use this book 13 edition by color this book is quite thick and it costs around 70 something i forget but less than 100 almost 100 but less than 100 so what you will learn is about so this is the contents about the nerve cells and nerve impulses, synapses, um, anatomy and research methods, blah blah blah, vision, movement, emotional behaviors, learning, memory and intelligence, cognitive functions. But don't worry because for me this is the basic one, the basic knowledge. If you are really interested in psychology, you will learn this. It's very interesting. It doesn't really involved in complex biology for me i also don't really like biology but this course is easier than what i learned in biology in spm so yeah don't worry so moving on to the next one is other than physiology psychology of course you need to study about introduction to psychology so basically in introduction to psychology you will learn the definition of psychology what is actually you study in psychology because if you don't know what you're studying how can you understand the subjects that you're going to learn do you get what i mean yes okay the other one is about cognitive psychology so cognitive psychology is basically about cognition our mind and thinking how we're thinking so this one you will learn about the part of our brain our lobes such as there are four major lobes which are the occipital temporal parietal and also our frontal lobe you will learn this if i explain this it will be taking too long it will take more than one hour or so even one day so yeah 
yes yeah, so you will learn about introduction to cognitive science and then in semester two you will study about um, development human development psychology developmental psychology which is basically the stage of our development about human development from infant to to all the age yes and all the theories and for me in human development psychology you will learn about the theory about eric erickson theory psychosocial theory about emotional cognitive and also our behavior and then you are going to study about social psychology basically about how we interact how to make impression and about eye contact and all that about how we interact and how to persuade people even okay and then for learning psychology learning psychology is basically related to about our memory how to study and how to retain our memory and how to put our what we have learned in our, from our short term memory to our long term memory about repetition and about rehearsal and all that we'll also learn about human resource development and individual differences personality and individual differences basically about our personality there is introversion extroversion and also about the big five theory and then for semester three or second year semester one you will study about abnormal psychology so in abnormal psychology basically you will study about all the mental illnesses such as um in such as the personality personality disorders and all those disorder from the SM5 yeah such as what are the characteristics of PTSD OCD and also what is neurological disorders such as ADHD and there are a lot I can't say it one by one here and then you study about counseling psychology in my previous semester i also studied about statistics so in statistics basically it is very important because you will use it later you will apply it later in your research for your research in final year project so i want to tell you guys i want to make it clear that you guys must pay attention in statistic class and it also consists of four credit hours so it is a lot and it is very important for our final year project so yeah whatever subjects that you study please stay focused pay attention if you don't understand don't hesitate to ask your teachers your doctors lecturers so yeah moving on to semester four we will learn about um about research methodology cognitive neuroscience cognitive neuroscience is the the continuous from what we have learned in semester one about the introduction to cognitive science so that is why you guys must stay focused stay attention pay attention during your from your semester one because there is somehow there's a connection from what we have learned in the previous semester with the next semester and these are all the subjects that i learned okay as you can see this list i put it here so yeah you guys will do your final year project during your third year during your third year of study and after that for your final year in in fourth year you will do your internship basically you will do practical practi practical maybe in hospital or maybe somewhere related this one i will figure it out later because i am also currently exploring about where will i go for my internship so i think that's all that you guys need to know the what are the subjects related that you will study basically in general and you guys can do more research later i think that you guys can get this get this from google just search about um buku panduan for buku panduan for psychology either in unimas ums ukm utm just search it i'm sure it will pop out somewhere so yeah there is no such course that is easy 
and for psychology students you guys must have analytical thinking critical thinking and you guys must love to do research you guys must be patient in research because psychology and research is really related you guys need to do a lot of research read a lot of articles so i think that's all for this video i hope that there won't be a part four but maybe i will do part four if i really need to and if you have more questions just comment below i will try to answer one by one bye